Okay, today I'm going to show you the Pippo Max M9. It's the new tablet out with the RK3188 processor. It comes with Android 4.1. It's a 10.1 inch screen. Okay, here we go. This thing is the newest tablet to come out of China with the new RK3188 platform. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go here and we'll show you the settings. This one, I'm actually running the Android 4.11, as you can see, and this is the newest build and this is also a new build, a custom build. Um, if you go to my link, you will you will go there, be able to find the custom where I pre-rooted, have a pre-root um, firmware with the 4.11 stock with a D bloat. Basically, I took out a bunch of a uh, a bunch of that that custom Chinese stuff and whatnot. Okay, as you can see, let's see, you got Bluetooth, Bluetooth works, you have HDMI, HDMI settings, you can set that uh, anywhere from low res of 720 all the way up to 1920, so you can go full HD. Okay, this screen is a 1280 by 720, okay. Let's see, let me show you the device first. Okay, first of all, let's lock it so I don't do that. Okay, you got a 5.0 megapixel camera with the light. Okay, you have TF card or micro US and a micro um, MS, your headphones. You have a host, host is for connecting to a a USB to micro USB and that way you can plug a keyboard a mouse you can plug in your USB um, flash okay but then you got a, a built-in mic and then you have a full-fledged USB this one here you connect directly to your computer when you're doing flashing or um, you want to add stuff directly in. You don't want to take a TF card out, whatnot. You can c communicate directly, ADB, with that. Okay. Then you got your HDMI mini, which you you need a an adapter to go to your TV from mini to full fledged. Okay. You got your your five volt DC, your on and uh, power, and then your back or ESC button here. Okay, as you can see, is on this this device the speakers are on the back, which kind of suck because uh, you can put your hand when you're playing um, a game or whatnot over the speakers, you know. But um, it's not a real big deal. I mean, the issue plagues a lot of tablets. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, you can go directly to Google search. You can do your camera or you can do a straight unlock. Okay. Very responsive. Uh, very quick. Um, brings up applications like boom, really quick. Um, as fast as my Note 2 or as fast as my uh, Galaxy S3. Um, this one is, I have it clocked at 1.6 right now it can go as high as 1.8 and it has the DDR3 and that's 2 gigs of that so it has the 4 chips of the the, the 512 in it to make the, the 2 gigs okay very responsive um, I'll come back with some other video actually this is my first day of having the having it I've only been playing around with it for a few hours now uh, it does make phone calls. Google Plus works. Tango works. Skype works. Map works. Awesome. Really quick. Um, 
I'm having problems with the Volcano app uh, because Volcano has not inserted the information into their their application so it does not work on this yet however I sent some information to Volcano and within a week or so we should be working there okay so uh, everything works uh, as I said is this one here if you want to install the custom it comes pre-rooted that way you don't have to do the root process you just flash it and it will wipe everything clean and you would be ready to go from there okay that's internet function okay pretty fast very fast depending on your your internet speed obviously will determine how fast exactly it is but as you can see it is very responsive and of course with the tablet you don't need your Google search you can go up here and go weather So there you go. So that's a quick overview of the Bippo Max M9 with the RK3188 processor. And I'll bring back some more information for it too.